Hello YouTube, today I want to show you how to install the Morrowind graphic extender in 2020. I spent some time or I wasted some time trying to figure out how to enable distant lands because I had missed a setting and I just want to show you how to like show you how to really quickly install the thing. So let's assume that you have installed the game, you have the game, you can press play and like run it, right? And then this is my like my install where I have many different mods, but never mind that. So let's imagine that you have a game, like uh, just you just installed the game. All right, so your game folder will look something like this, and it will have nothing special, like no no special data. No, it's just a fresh install. So you need to go online and find model wind m g e x e. You'll find it at uh, Nexus Mods, and I think that's good enough for us. You'll be usually prompted to subscribe to MGEXE, no, to Nexus Mods, but you can skip that. You can just download the file. So you'll see the MGEXE here. That's the name of the mod, 41102, whatever. And then go to Files, and here you have two options. You have, you have either the installer or the 7zip archive. They both work. They're like equivalent. So this one will ask you where to extract the files. Here you will have to open the thing, open the archive and extract them yourself. If you don't have 7-zip installed, then maybe this is the option. So next is my, no, yeah, this is what I was talking about. It will ask you to, it will ask you to subscribe. We just, like, we don't care too much right now. And there you have the installer. So the installer will ask you where is your game installed? And it's not installed here. In our case, I have it in this folder. So you want to select the Morrowind folder, not the data files, but the Morrowind folder. You say OK, whatever. It will extract the files, download the latest uh, script and extender, and you're fine. So from there on, you see that like, this, this change, and now I have far many. Like many more files here. So if we start the game, actually I don't have a save here. Yeah, so that's that's not useful. I want to show you with a save. So let's see. I think I have something here. Mm, saves. Yeah. Okay. Let's take this. The thing that we want to get rid of is the really close render render distance in, in vanilla Marvin. As you can see, we're somewhere above Vivek. Whoops. Above Vivek here. Uh -huh. Like the distance is really, we can't see anything. But if we choose this tool, and go to this tab and say use distant land and say okay select the data files um, then continue and i want like high specs your mileage may vary so we'll have to click this one and then it will finish After a while, you may want to tweak things here. There's also an option to do to do everything like with the auto automatically without choosing any any settings. Yeah, so if you can't be bothered, you just uh, 
say continue and then automatically set up everything. So the, the key setting here is this distance. For me, this is nice. I'm not sure if my computer can take this. And I'm not sure if you can you need to regenerate this after after creating them. But let's see what happens if I just so I created and now I increased. Let's see how that looks. So yeah, it's better, definitely better, but not perfect, maybe. So yeah, the distance is not too bad. Maybe not perfect. But I think this is the this is what you get when you have four. So let's like quickly save and exit and try with this value. So distant land generator, continue, automatic everything. It will run again. Okay. <clears throat> and with the with twenty five cells visible, it looks like this, which is considerably consider considerably much better. So, with my video card, which is like pretty beefy, I get. 46 30 fps so i probably need to go down to 20 cells maybe 17 but the like the, the thing that you want at least is probably probably six or seven or eight cells so for example from here to suran there are three no there are about five cells so you can see that i can that the PVAC is really visible from here and it's not really that far it makes sense that you would be able to see that but it's not a, it's not a, like a reality simulator this game but still it, it's nice to see uh, things in the distance so here about here from here to that tower is about three cells so you need to go from Vivek and be around here for Suran to appear but now, with this mod and with the distant LED settings, you can see it from here, which is epic. So yeah, I hope you, I hope this clears things up for you and like that it's a quick and nice demo. At any rate, so yeah, enjoy. Bye.